Hey guys, what I have here is a Blitzwolf M2 NVMe SSD, so it's non-volatile memory. I don't know why that L looks like an idea. It looks like Blitz Wife instead of Blitz Wolf, but there you go. So on the back, you can see the model number is BWNV3. It uses an M2 PCI Express Gen 3 X4 interface. The form factor, as you would expect, is M2-2280 and the capacity is 512 gigabytes, so half a terabyte. Now, I did search online and I looked for this model on various other Blitzwolf models and I can't see any other capacity available for this, like 256 or 1 terabyte, etc. It does appear to be that this is the only capacity that you can get for this drive. Now, this was kindly sent to me by the people at Banggood who sent me this for review. So I do appreciate this Chinese marketplace sending me this for review, but it will not influence what I like and what I don't like about the product. Now, if I jump over to the official website, we can learn more about this product. But before I do that, I just want to talk about warranty because on this website here, it doesn't really talk about warranty. And here it just says that you've got 30 days to return, 30 day refund or replacement. And that's what it says here as well, 30 day satisfaction guarantee. But it does say that if you experience any manufacturing faults within 18 months, we will offer you a full refund or replacement. So it looks like the warranty is 18 months, which is not amazing to be honest. For this kind of drive, I would really want two, three, five, or 10 years, but 18 months, okay, I can live with it. So I'll go back to price. Before I look at the features, I just want to look at price here. You can see that it's, it's about, once you add shipping, it's about 100 pounds in Great British pounds. If I change it to dollars, it will change to, what we got here? 127 add to, so about $129 total for this drive. Uh, and that's got all the sales features here as well, but that's all taken from this website. It does look to be that it's going to be coming to Amazon soon, but at the moment, Banggood is the only place that you can buy this. If I scroll down here, you can see some of the um, features and specifications. It's got a read speed of 2,054 megabytes per second, write speed of 1,660 megabytes per second. Um, I believe this is 3D TLC. Yeah, it's here, 3D TLC, I know it was somewhere. Uh, flash memory. Um, so yeah, it's got the um, working temperatures and all that there. So when I do my benchmarks, I'm really trying to see if it lives up to these speeds. So hopefully it does. So I'll just scroll through some of the features here. High capacity, as I say, Gen 3 X4, NVMe 1.3 protocol. Um, this is what it looks like. Eight gigabit per second bandwidth. Uh, low delay, fast read and write. You've seen hard drives before. This is, you know, usual kind of standard sales pitch. 3D NAND memory, like I said. And yeah, works with your laptops, works with your PCs, works in some gaming applications as well, some gaming systems. And yeah, there it's there. So I'll leave a link to that. You can check it out yourself. But right now, what I want to do is get this open. So this is everything that you get in the box. You get a little kind of uh, user manual there, English, German, French, Italian, Spanish, and Japanese. Just gives you some information about it there. We've got the drive itself, and it's in this nice little case. Now, I quite like this already. You normally only get um, the actual SSD, but it looks like they've thrown in some extra things here. We've got, we've got the little M2 screws, which you will normally use to connect to your laptop or to your PC. This keeps flipping over, that's why it's doing that. And I've thrown in a little screwdriver as well. That's really cool. I can get this. So there is the little screwdriver that they include as well. That's a nice little addition. And now we have the SSD itself. So this is everything that you get in the package. But of course, what we're looking for here is, if we get this in focus, I'll clear this from the camera. What we're looking for is this. This is it. This is the Blitzwolf M2 SSD. And I mean, it's a hard drive. These are never the most exciting things to look at, but I would say the design's quite good. Um, it does look, though, that, is that, you know, it's a screw underneath. I thought the paper was bobbling. It looks like there's a screw underneath the label there. But yeah, looks okay. Looks like a standard M2 SSD. And what I need to do now is put it into my enclosure. So I do have a screwdriver that I can use, but I'm going to use their one, the one they provided. Let's see how it works. 
Looks like it works okay. Yeah, not too bad. I always like when they throw in little things like that. There we go. Enclosure just slides out and you can see that at the moment I have another drive in. This is a drive that I took out of one of my laptops. It's a 512 gigabyte uh, SSD as well. So I just need to take this out and then we can put the Blitzwolf one on. So it's very, very simple to attach this. You just line it up like that, click it on, and then you can put the screw back on to secure it. And now we can slot it back into the enclosure. So the drive is now in the enclosure. So what I can do now is start to run some tests and we'll see how this performs. So it's a few hours since I put the Blitzwolf M2 SSD into my Alxum enclosure. And as you would expect, when I connected this to my Windows computer, the drive was unallocated. So I had to allocate it a letter, set up the volume, format the drive, and then I was good to go. The first thing that I wanted to test was, well, really just test the drive. So I used H2 test W and I checked for errors. There was no errors. I checked the capacity everything was okay. So from a functionality point of view, this drive does work and they're not lying about the capacity. So yeah, that's good. Now, after that, I did a couple of tests and the first one I did was AGA systems and I did a 1080p test and it was writing at 860 megabytes per second and reading at 926. These scores were a little bit higher when I chose 4K. It jumped up to 875 megabytes per second and reading was 943. Now, there's obviously variations whenever you do these tests. You know, you click start and every time it gives you a different number. But these were kind of the average values that I was getting. The next test that I did was Crystal Disk Mark. And I got a really good score of 1014 for reading and 919 for writing. And for Atto... This benchmark gives you a lot of different scores, but you can see that across the board here, I was getting about 875 megabytes per second for writing and about 965, 970 megabytes per second for reading. So across the board, those scores to me look okay because it's important to realize that the scores will be lower, the read and write speeds will be lower in this enclosure when compared to testing this in a laptop or in your PC. And I have tested like Evo drives and things like that in this and those were only like 100 megabytes uh, per second higher. So not too bad from an enclosure. And the reason I wanted to show you the enclosure is because I believe that these kinds of enclosures are very useful. Uh, if you decide not to use this in your laptop or PC, this is a good portable drive and a good uh, alternative to something like a Samsung T5. This is actually much quicker than my Samsung, uh, my Samsung T5 drive. So yes, very good. But of course, that is not my main test, guys. I just have to stress that is not my main test. What I'm going to do now is, if I zoom out, is open up my Alienware gaming laptop and put the drive, which is currently in the enclosure, into the gaming laptop. And then we can run those same tests again to get a more realistic idea as to what this drive can do. So as you saw there, I put the Blitzwolf SSD into my gaming laptop so that I could perform the same benchmark test that I did before when the drive was in an SSD enclosure. And I must admit, I was very, very impressed with the performance of this drive. As a reminder, Blitzwolf says that you can get read speeds of up to 2,054 megabytes per second and write speeds over up to 1,660 megabytes per second. And I got very close to that in all of the tests. 
With the 1080p test and AGA video systems, I got write speeds of 1,563 megabytes per second and read speeds of 1,863 megabytes per second. And when I changed it from 1080p to 4K, it only went down a little bit to 1,503 for writing and 1,830 for reading. With Crystal Disk Mark, I actually got more than what is quoted for reading. I got 2,079.49 megabytes per second for reading and 1,638.28 for writing. That's really, really impressive. And the final benchmark was Atto Disk Benchmark. And as you can see again, the read and write speeds here are, are very different depending on the file size which is being written. But it's about 1.55 gigabytes per second for writing, so about 1,500 and 50 megabytes per second for writing and the read speeds were about 1.85 average between 1.8 and 1.9 gigabytes per second so that's about 1900 megabytes per second i believe those results are very very impressive so from a performance point of view from a quality point of view i believe this drive is very very good and because of that i think this is a drive that i can recommend anyone to buy but there is one sticking point, and for me, that's price. As I showed earlier on, this is just below £100. It's about just under $130 at this point, and I'm hoping this will drop in the future because, as an example, if I search for 512GB M2 SSD on Amazon UK, you can see that there are a lot of other drives. Now, the top one here, Western Digital, that's actually a SATA drive, so that's not a fair comparison because the speeds will be slower. And as usual, Samsung 970 EVOs, those, those are always more expensive. But if you go down, you can see a drive such as the Crucial P1, which does get very similar quoted read and write speeds. And that's only £58.49 for a 500 gigabyte drive. And then you've got something like the Sabrent. This is another 512 gigabyte drive, but it's cheaper and it's faster. This actually has read and write speeds at 2,000, 3,000, etc. And then you've got other options there as well. So... I'm hoping that this, this drive does get released on Amazon and if it does, I'm hoping that Blitz will, will be will kind of forced to be more competitive with their pricing. They'll have to drop their price when they go into the Amazon market. It's more competitive there and hopefully they do drop the price and run some deals because at the minute, whilst I do like this drive and I do think it's high quality and I'm very impressed with the performance, reading write speeds are all good, it's very difficult to recommend this over other options when those other options are sometimes faster, sometimes have a higher warranty, and they do tend to be much cheaper. So yeah, I do like the drive, I do like the performance, but at the moment the price is too high. But if you're watching this in the future, hopefully the price has come down, hopefully it's available on Amazon, and the price is a little bit more competitive. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a better understanding as to what the Blitzwolf M2 solid state drive can do. Many thanks again to Banggood, I do appreciate companies that send products for review because it does help support the channel. I'll leave a link to the sales page if you are interested in buying this drive. And as always, I do try and cover everything as best as I can, but if there's anything I've missed or you're unsure about anything, please post a comment below if there's something you want to know about this drive, and I'll do my best to answer you or at the very least point you in the right direction. Until the next time guys, take care.